in a dedicated effort to address and mitigate present social issues within the Palop community in the lower Hambun of Enga province. Caritas Enga successfully conducted a two-day advocacy training program that culminated with a surrender and the destruction of three homemade firearms and uprooted marijuana plants, which would fetch about 3,000 kina at the street market. Members of the Sun tribe pledged to stay away from the evil ways and be advocated for positive living. The program aimed to inform, mobilize and empower local residents of the Sang, Moen and the larger Yen tribe to be advocated of peace by addressing challenges such as sorcery, accusation related violence, travel fights, drug and alcohol abuse and other detrimental social issues affecting their lives. The two days advocacy training program drew participation from a diverse group of community leaders, youth and concerned citizens who collectively sought solutions to the root causes of sorcery, accusation related violence, travel conflicts and the pervasive influence of drugs within their community. Through a series of interactive workshops, Participants and Kate in discussions centered around conflict resolution techniques, community engagement strategies, and the importance of fostering a culture of peace and unity. The advocacy training concluded with a mass which was presided by the Exori Bishop Justin and Sungi of the Catholic Dice of Wabek. <laughs> Bishop Sungi emphasized the significance of solidarity and commitment to peace among community members. During the service, he challenged the attendees to reject travel fights sorcery accusation related violence, drug and alcohol abuse as detrimental to development and prosperity in life. As part of their commitment, participants pledged to stay away from sorcery accusation related violence, travel fights and actively work towards addressing the social dilemmas highlighted in their discussions. This promise reflects a growing awareness and determination among the community members to take responsibility for their environment and promote a safer, more cohesive society. Caritas Enga's 36th advocacy training program is just one of many initiatives aimed at fostering resilience and empowerment among communities in Enga province for positive living. Caritas advocates against travel fights, serve, 
gender-based violence, drug and alcohol abuse. Caritas further encourages the people and families to be God-fearing, to send every child to school and for all to be productive by working on the land. Through continued outreach and support, Caritas Inga lays the groundwork for positive change and hope in areas grappling with conflict and adversity. As the Palo community moves forward from this impactful experience, there is optimism for a brighter future where understanding, collaboration and peace prevail. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Jonathan Sopendro, reporting for the CDW and that news. Remember, the power to make a difference lies within each and every one of us. Let's unite and make it happen. Thank you for joining us today on Action for Change. If you found this video informative and inspiring, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to CDW and the news. Together, let's be the catalyst for positive change. Until next time, stay strong, stay united, and keep fighting alongside Caritas Enga for a better Enga province.